back to another video. Uh, my name is Abhishek Naira um, and if you're new to my channel, I'm a graduate engineer working in Leicester. I'm also a blog. I also write blogs on my uh, stated channel which will be in the description. I also have a newsletter so check those out, check that out guys. Um, also follow me on Instagram. Uh, I'll have the highlight pop up somewhere. Um, to start off this video, I just want to say stay safe guys, stay at home. Uh, learn a new skill, um, stay tight, uh, stay with your family, if you are staying with your family, uh, take time to sort of find new hobbies, cook something different, but stay at home, you know, um, it's as stated by the NHS or the government, uh, we gotta beat this and, you know, it can only be done with all of us staying at home and doing what we do to help those who are in need. So yeah, uh, let's get into the into the video. Uh, this video will be about five productivity tips. And um, so in today's uh, video, I'll be speaking to you about five productivity tips that I use. Um, for each of the productivity tips, I'll have timestamps, uh, so you guys can sort of skip through the content and sort of go to a particular one that you enjoy or want to uh, inquire a bit more. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. using this tip. Um, I started using this tip. Uh, a couple of months ago, uh, I adopted the idea from a blog uh, article that I read. Uh, it's by maketime.blog. I'll leave, the, I'll leave the link of the article in my description if you guys wanted to check it out. Um, the idea is called the, the idea is called daily highlights. Now I've been using it uh, in my to-do list, and uh, where I have a set of objectives, a to-do list, and underneath it I have a reflection where I have a daily highlight gratitude and that sort of write about during the, during the scope of the day or at the end of the day. Um, so daily highlight is based on, is the idea, is an idea that's uh, that's based on three factors. Uh, factor one is what do you want to be the highlight of the day? Factor two is what's the most pressing thing that you have done in the day? And factor three is at the end of the day which highlight will bring you the most satisfaction? So yeah, it's something that you can guys can adopt to sort of bring into your to-do list and you know after the after a long hard day sort of reflect back during the scope of the day what you've achieved, what do you sort of what mattered most to you, what was so pressing that became the highlight of the day and you sort of managed to complete it. So yeah, that's tip number one in tip is having a to-do list. Now I've been using this for the longest time as I can remember. Um, I feel like going creating a list prior to the prior to the start of the day it's like going into a day with a plan um, an idea of what objectives you want to complete both personal and work and and I find and I find this to be quite effective uh, in accomplishing what tasks that I need especially if I if you have an agenda that you work with if you batch your days to a specific task and uh, having a to-do list is so useful um, I recently um, started a weekly newsletter uh, uh, platform um, which is available on my site and which you can guys you know, go into and check it out. So in my first weekly issue, uh, which was on Monday, I call it the Monday Madness. Um, I break down my to-do list, my weekly agenda, what I followed through. It's quite simple, it's not something that I've created it's complicated for myself. Um, it's quite simple to follow. Please, if you wish to want to adapt to it, go for it. Again, Notion is an excellent platform that you can sort of work around with um, and sort of create your to-do list in a, in a useful manner. Uh, so tip number two, yeah, having a to-do list and going into a day with a plan. Um, and I think the advantage of that is like you sort of go in, if you go, in, go into a day with a plan, you sort of like win, win a fight, like in a way, like you win the fight to battle the day, go ahead, charged on with a plan, and sort of going into going into day with a with a with a motivation that yeah you know I have a set of things that I need to complete, and I'm I'm good to go, I'm good to rock. So yeah, tip number two. Uh, tip number three. Right. right. Tip number three. Um, it's called the Parkinson's law. Parkinson's law states that work expands to fill the time available for its completion. Um, the idea behind the, the way I understand it, it's it's uh, for example, if you have a task that only takes two hours to complete, but you've assigned yourself a week, you're adding complexity to the task as it progresses, and this evidently sort of adds tension and stress 
uh, to oneself. Um, so therefore, like assigning a time limit to the task, it makes the process much more simpler. Therefore, people are able to complete the task within a short period of time. Um, as a personal example that I want to give out, um, as I batch my days to the weekends or Fridays, just to sort of write my script for a video shoot, or when I do my shooting, I tend to do my shooting during the mornings or the afternoons because I still have the lighting, the natural lighting from the uh, that's available to me to shoot. Um, so yeah, so giving myself a certain amount of time uh, to shoot a video, it, it's like applying the Parkinson's law. So it's just something that you can, guys can apply to your own, uh, own endeavors or facets that you follow through. Um, that can be helpful. So that's tip, tip number three. Parkinson's tip number four. Uh, tip number four is called the two minute rule. And the two minute rule has two, two parts to it. If a task takes less than two minutes, just do it. To try, just do it. Whether that be watering the plants or uh, putting a mug back into the sink. You know, if it's out of sight, if it's out of mind. So that's part one to it. And part two, when you start a habit, it should take less than two minutes to do it. Um, so for instance, uh, if you intend to sort of start reading a book before you go to bed, rather than reading 20 pages or 30 pages, start with just a single page. Single page. Um, or for example, I intend to um, start writing morning, morning notes or morning pages um, as referred to by Tim Ferriss. Um, morning pages, um, instead of writing two April pages, uh, that I want to sort of write through, I'll, I'll probably want to. I'll probably want to take baby steps and start with a paragraph um, before I head out to work. So that's a new habit that I'm sort of getting into. So yeah, when you guys are starting into a new habit, take baby steps, uh, less than two minutes, uh, to start that habit and then sort of slowly progress. So that's uh, tip number four and the two minute rule. Oh. Tip number five, as you guys, tip number five, um, batching, as you guys already see and noticed that I've talked about batching a lot throughout different uh, contexts. Uh, batching is an excellent idea. I originally came across this idea in a book called The 4-Hour Work, 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 Four Hour work Week by Tim Ferriss. Um, the idea is to, instead of focusing on different areas within the day, have one area and subcategorize that area into smaller chunks. Um, and as you, if you, if you guys wanted to sort of uh, check out my newsletter, I've sort of like created a list of a weekly agenda where I day by day I focus on certain things, um, and within that, within that certain things, I sort of during this during the day I came I come across different subcategories that I want to sort of work with, um, and I'll probably do an, a blog chat a blog post on that and to give more information out. So that's tip number five, batching. Uh, I've, you know, it's an excellent principle to apply, and it's been ever so useful to myself in sort of progressing uh, with the growth of either that be my channel, uh, now my newsletter, or hopefully uh, my YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, batching is that tip number five. If you, thank you for watching my video, guys. If you like the content, please share and subscribe. If you feel I'm limiting to something, please give me some constructive uh, feedback. I would love to see any sort of feedback from you guys. And I hope you guys have a safe, healthy day. And um, stay at home, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers, bye.